Imagine a future with no trees or animals, just pollution, junk, silence, darkness. Hungry for memories of the natural world, people flock to hear Albert, the bird song busker, an old man who imitates bird whistles from amongst the rubble in the street. <coughs> Albert returns home one night to find a stranger drinking tea with his wife Geraldine. He appears to be a door-to-door -door salesman selling music books for whistlers of birdsong. Albert takes one look at the stranger's songbook and declares this tune would be impossible to whistle. The stranger proves him wrong by launching into the most bizarre bird song they've ever heard. Proud and jealous, Albert scoffs no bird that ever existed sounded like that and asks the man to leave. But once he's gone, Albert tries in secret to recreate the stranger's whistle. It's impossible, must have been some kind of trick. That night he's tormented by dreams of a land so pristine, so untouched by mankind it couldn't possibly exist. When he opens his eyes, he sees a figure standing at the window. He creeps towards it, only to find it's Geraldine studying the stranger's songbook in the moonlight. Is the salesman really what he seems? Why has Geraldine become so secretive? And what is this haunting, spaceship-like whistle which infects all those who hear it with dreams of mountains, lakes and forests? Birdsong Busker plays on New Zealand's mystery, its enduring purity and its uniquely quirky wildlife.